This one is about the perception of comfort, whether it's heating or cooling. I'm going to start out with a, uh, a historical view. In past history, comfort in our environment was maybe a warm fire, maybe a blanket that kept you warm, uh, something that kept, of course, the rain and snow off you, and maybe the sun in the question of heat. But if I asked a number of different people, modern people, what their perception would be, what, what would be comfortable to them as far as their environment, would be widely varied. Because if I was living in uh, northern China somewhere where there were no services, then perception would probably be a small hut that kept the rain off and uh, a fire inside that kept me warm at least part of the time. Uh, now if I go to, uh, especially to the US, we have much different perception of what is comfortable. And it's primarily just where we come from, what we're used to. So let's say uh, I went back 200 years. We pretty much could do structures that would uh, keep the rain off of us, but the inside wasn't all that warm. I'm not speaking about cool now, I'm just more in temperate areas. But, it, you know, the a warm spot in the house, you come in, it's cold outside, you come inside, you get close to a warm spot. That's comfortable. Got a big fl fluffy comforter of some type, that's comfortable. As we started getting better technology to control our environment, we started getting a little more picky. Uh, a log cabin with a fireplace. Okay, that was fine. It was hot in front of the fireplace as long as the fire was burning pretty high, but the rest of the log cabin was freezing cold. So, we started making, you know, metal wood stoves and stuff, and they would tend to heat better. Fireplace, by the way, takes more heat out of the structure than it puts in. It's primarily just radiant heat and the feeling that there's a fire there. And that makes you feel comfortable. The things that make you feel comfortable are not necessarily things that are actually comfortable. They can be all sorts of different things. We went along and uh, tightened up houses, started putting uh, oil heaters in them, some sort of ducted uh, system in them, and that made us a little more even heat so we didn't have to stand in front of a stove in order to be warm. We've gotten to the point now where we have in many homes uh, heating and air conditioning so we can keep the temperature within a uh, four to five degree Fahrenheit range. And sometimes we're still not comfortable. But your feeling of comfort is dependent on what your basis is. What is normal for you? What is something you actually can have? Okay, that's just kind of a little intro. We're gonna talk about how uh, heat affects you and cooling affects you and sometimes the perception of heating and cooling is just as important as actually heating and cooling. Okay, that's all for this one.